Hello, everybody, and welcome to our weekly state policy update. Uh, currently, we are in legislative sessions in many of the states across the country, and there are quite a few moving bills. As you know, you can go to normal.org slash act, and you'll be able to hover over your state to see all of the bills that are currently filed where you live. Uh, but this is going to be a summary of priority, moving legislation, newly filed legislation, legislation across the country. And then as always, I'll come back to the comments and see where you guys are watching from so we can delve in a little bit deeper there. Um, there has been some great movement over the last week. And, um, you know, some of the sessions are starting to wrap up. And uh, we are seeing things advancing to governor's desks, etc. Many sessions end, you know, late May, early June, but some of them will continue on throughout the year. So these are going to be um, a topic of conversation for definitely the next solid month and then continuing through the summer as well. So let's go ahead and dig into what has been happening in legislatures across the country today. Um, I want to first start talking about uh, legalization. So there is a bill in Louisiana, HB 17, which establishes regulations for the cultivation, production, and distribution of adult use recreational cannabis for those age 21 and up. It allows for selling up to one ounce of cannabis or cannabis products per calendar day. Now, the good news here is that HB 17 is scheduled for a hearing today in the Louisiana House Judiciary Committee. So if you're watching uh, and from Louisiana, make sure that you share that action alert after participating in it. Now, if you're watching the news cycle last week, you probably saw the movement in Minnesota. So in Minnesota, there's a House and a Senate version um, of a bill that would allow adults 21 and older to purchase two ounces of cannabis and home cultivate up to eight plants, four of which can be mature. It also creates a licensed private retail cannabis business structure where your municipalities and counties could own and operate governmental dispensaries. Those with prior marijuana convictions would have their records expunged automatically. And the legislation also allows for on-site consumption lounges and cannabis delivery services. It does contain language banning the sale of unregulated synthetic cannabinoids, which is consistent with the Board of Pharmacy rules that were put into place last year. Now, the House has passed HF 100, 71 to 59, and senators passed a revised version of the bill by a vote of 34 to 33. Very close there. They didn't have even one vote to lose. A conference committee will then reconcile the two bills before the final bill advances to the governor's desk. This means that Minnesota is poised to become the 23rd legal marijuana state in our country. So great news out of Minnesota. Glad to see that continuing to move. Now, as I mentioned at the outset, I'm going to go over our updates for today's um, blog post, but then I'm going to come back to the comments and see where you guys are watching from and kind of go over what's happening locally um, there as well. So make sure you're commenting where you're watching from. Um, also, I just want to have a side note, uh, point of personal privilege here in Texas, for the first time ever, there was a hearing having to do with a regulated adult use market in our state. Now, as is typical here in Texas, that bill was left pending. They usually revisit it within a week or two. So we're hopeful that we'll be able to get a vote on that. Now, this is a historic first. We've never had this before in Texas. Um, and I'm hoping that I can come back with great news that that bill has passed out of committee. Um, it is of note that there was no law enforcement opposition. And so we're really proud of the work that we've been able to do to um, tamp that down here in Texas. Now, also in Texas, let's talk about a decriminalization bill. HB 218 reduces the penalties for possession of one ounce or less of cannabis flowers or cannabis concentrates while instructing officers to no longer make arrests for the possession of related paraphernalia. Additionally, it facilitates a prospect process, excuse me, for the expungement of past marijuana charges. Now, HB 12, or sorry, 218, I don't know where I got that from, sorry, passed the House and it now heads to the Senate. It will need to be assigned to a committee so it can have a Senate committee hearing and then advance to the Senate floor. Now, we only have four weeks left in the legislature here in Texas, so time is short, um, and we definitely hope to see it assigned to committee soon. 
Now let's talk about medical access. In Vermont, HB 270 increases the number of plants patients can cultivate at home, allowing for six mature and 12 immature plants. The bill also increases the maximum allowable THC content in a single edible cannabis product from 50 to 100 milligrams, while expanding the list of qualifying conditions uh, for medical cannabis treatment and increasing the number of patients for whom a caregiver may provide services. It also removes the annual registration fee for qualified caregivers. So HB 270 has passed the House of Representatives. It has also passed the Senate Committee on Economic Developing Housing and General Affairs and is scheduled for a hearing in the Senate today before the Committee of Finance. So if you are in Vermont, I definitely encourage you to reach out to your legislators there. Now, before I go to these additional bills, I'm going to come back over to the comments, see where you guys are watching from. All right. So we've got Texas. Hello, Texas. We talked about that. Louisiana, Minnesota. We talked about you guys there. Uh, Oklahoma. I will follow back on that as well. All right. Awesome. Glad to have you guys here today. Let's talk about California. AB 374 permits cannabis lounges and the ability to sell non-cannabis and Used food and beverages while also allowing them to sell tickets to concerts or other events. So AB 370 has passed the California Assembly Business and Professions Committee and the Assembly Governmental Organization Committee. So great news there. That bill is continuing to advance. Out of Colorado, HB 1279 permits residents to purchase marijuana products online with the opportunity to pick up their product or to have it delivered to their home. HB 1279 was passed by the House with a vote of 40 to 23, and it passed the Senate 23 to 12. It now heads to the governor's desk. So great news there in Colorado. In Maine, there's two bills that deal with expungement, and both of these bills recently had a hearing and are waiting for a vote in the House Judiciary Committee there in Maine. Now, in Missouri, newly filed legislation SB 189 establishes expungement clinics to assist those in need in the process of seeking expungement for applicable criminal charges and convictions involving cannabis. In New York City, there's a pair, New York City. <laughs> the state of New York, excuse me, <laughs> there are companion bills, AB 6593 uh, and Senate Bill 6470 that would allow cannabis cultivators to temporarily sell their tested products on the premises of their farm directly to consumers. In Nevada, SB 277 allows dispensaries to obtain dual licenses, allowing them to serve both medical patients and adult consumers. The bill would also increase the allowable purchase amounts to 2.5 ounces. So those are our big highlights for the last week. <clears throat> and so let me come back over here. I know that we had, um, let's see, we talked about Louisiana and Minnesota, but we, I wanted to come back to Oklahoma. Now, there's several bills in Oklahoma you can participate in action alerts there. Um, drug testing for schools and THC caps, which we oppose. So definitely participate in those action alerts. I think I saw someone from Idaho. Looks like Idaho's session has completed back earlier in March. So unfortunately, there's no moving, uh, le le uh, no moving legislation there. Um, I see Iowa in the comments as well. They, that legislature also finished in March, so no moving bills there as well. Let's see. Illinois. Now, Illinois has um, several bills that did not make a crossover date at the end of March, but one bill that did, which has to do with odor um, being a cause for arrest, search, or seizure. So definitely participate in that one there. Now, I see someone from Missouri. I know that we went over um, a few new bills, but there are actually quite a few bills in Missouri that you can support, having to do with early release for marijuana charges, having medical cannabis on campus, odor as cause for search, removing licensing caps, um, patient privacy and parental protections, banking, and then the expungement clinics bill that I discussed. So quite a few bills there. Now, if you guys are watching and you're like, where can I find these action alerts, Jax? Um, you go to normal.org slash act, go to that dynamic map, 
hover over your state and you'll be able to see, are there any current uh, bills going on there? Let me make sure I haven't missed anybody. It looks like we've also got Michigan. I think Michigan recently. No current action alerts in Michigan at this time. I was confusing it with another state, but no, no current action alerts in Michigan right now. Let me see if we've got anyone else here. So a couple of people watching from Texas, I discussed the legalization bill, I discussed the Ducrum bill, but also it's of note that um, the week before last, our medical cannabis bill passed the House. It has been assigned to a Senate committee, and we are hoping for a hearing coming soon. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Arizona. Let's see. All right. In Arizona, there are several bills. Um, well, it looks like in Arizona, actually, uh, the legislature ends uh, in the next day or two. Uh, there are several bills having to do with insurance coverage, patient protections, and expanding medical access. Uh, but it might be a tight timeline there with just a few days left. So just to let you guys know there in Arizona. Let's see. Looks like someone's asking about Virginia. <clears throat> I believe that Virginia's special session has ended. Um, Virginia Normal, as you guys probably know, does a live stream uh, pretty regularly here. Um, and so, you know, they give updates on that. But it does look like several bills have passed in Virginia um, having to do with expungement, sealing of records, the medical cannabis program, um, product requirements, and uh, the Board of... Uh, pharmacy to Virginia Cannabis Control Authority. So some bills that have passed in Virginia, but no current moving legislation there. All right, we've got Nevada. So I did cover the new Nevada bill that was just filed. Um, and that is the uh, dual uh, license increase, dual licenses and increase in amount of possession. But there's also a bill that's still alive that has to do with having cannabis at medical facilities. Let's see. Well, those are all the comments I can see. Um, sometimes, you know, this is not perfect where it pulls them all together, but hopefully I haven't missed any. If you're curious to see where your state stands, you can go to normal.org slash act, hover over your state, and you'll be able to see all of the bills that are currently moving in your state. If you don't see any bills there, it may be because it's not in legislative session right now. Um, so stay tuned. Additionally, I wanted to let everybody know that you can become a normal member. And also join the chapter near you by going to our chapters tab. So on that note, I'm going to bid y'all an adieu. And thank you so much for tuning in today and participating in our policy updates. So till next week, friends.